But all in all, it was a lovely summer, just gliding along in the moonlight, safe and sound. Safe? What was that great black thing looming? First time Paddle had ever been this close to a ship. Even though no one had ever even noticed him, Paddle, like the great ships, was also on his way to the sea. couldn't know that as the days got shorter and colder and the snows came to the darkening hills, that one day the water that carried him would turn into ice. And that would surely be the end of him. came a day when Paddle disappeared completely, gone without a trace. Yet all the time he was as safe as a seed under his blanket of snow waiting for the warm wind of spring. Waiting for the sun to release him. And one glorious day, he was free again. Free to travel on into the land of people. Nobody was really sure Paddle even existed, until one day. Quite by accident, he was caught. says, please put me back in the water. We can't keep him, said his father. Whoever made him wants him to travel to the sea. Though how he could ever get to the sea from here is beyond me. In 
all the time he'd been away, Paddle had only got as far as Detroit, still almost 1,500 miles from the ocean. The world of men seemed very beautiful. It was the 4th of July, a celebration. For a little creature like Paddle, the world of men was also very dangerous. Dangerous and dirty. They were pouring all sorts of filth and slime and garbage into the lake. Worst of all, ahead of him lay Niagara Falls. It was an exciting day for the people on the Maid of the Mist, the excursion boat below the falls. Some thought they caught glimpses of him. Others said nonsense, he could never survive that terrible plunge. Just when his worst troubles seemed to be over, he disappeared. He hadn't really disappeared, of course. He was gliding through the night in lonely, hidden places. to worry about. Unless that beaver decided to use him for building a dam. Actually, Paddle had reached the safest place he could possibly come to. It was a wildlife sanctuary where all creatures are protected. It's very odd to think that in this peaceful place, Paddle was in danger. 